welcome back everyone to another video and for the last few days there at least the last few weeks there has been a lot of rumor about something called a windows 10 cloud os now this is supposed to be microsoft's answer to chrome os like operating systems and it was still yesterday it was all in rumors uh, and unofficial announcements but today we finally have a leaked build so it's not official yet it is a leaked build and the origin of this build for me is kind of skeptical i don't know where it comes from but it has been uploaded by adguard who is a twitter user and what you are seeing on the screen right now so i'll leave a link down in the description to download but beware it is of suspicious um origin uh, and I'll, I'll and i'm not taking any guarantee for it to be working perfectly or not to steal your data so be sure and always install it on a virtual machine if you're so interested in testing it so today we will be using vmware uh, seems to be working fine on it but i will also go through the installation process because it is a bit different uh, apart from that here is my configuration for the vm i've got two gigabytes of ram uh, dual core processor with all the virtualization things set to automatic because my hardware and operating system do support hardware virtualization 60 gig of storage um, a l very less amount of that would be used uh, and the iso file again that would be in the description uh, and other things that you might uh, that i've just kept at automatic so uh let's press ok now you can see i have two separate vms for win 10 cloud the, this one is already pre-installed so just in case this doesn't go well i can at least show you the operating system but let's go ahead and try to uh you know see the whole installation process uh it's a bit different not completely but uh we'll see how that goes all right so first of all you can see it is a russian build now it does have english as well so i think we should be good with that uh, and it's a usual click next to install and all right just as a reminder i will be cutting things in between uh, just to make the video as compact as possible so of course it wouldn't install uh, that quickly as you can see but uh, it still is pretty fast so windows 10 cloud you can see we have an option here uh, where you select your windows starter or professional single language and other stuff like that we have the option for a windows 10 cloud so this is what it is supposed to be and then simply next all right so we have started the installation process this is going to take a little bit of time if not too much um i think i'll leave everything recording as it is and i'll get back to you once it's done installation and it's at the uh setting up phase hi there i'm cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Type what you want to name your account. Okay, now type a password for your account. And one more time to make sure we've got it right. Great. Now, with an offline account, 
If you forget your password, the only way to retrieve it is with a hint, so make sure it's memorable. Hey, look! It's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. All right, so that was weird. And uh, of course, it's a bit different from what we've been used to for the last many years. And uh, now someone is actually telling us what to do while installing Windows. So, of course, things have changed. Uh, and this is again the cloud build. So we'll see what is different in the UI. I'm not expecting very much, but uh, we'll still see what there is. So it will be taking a bit more time to install now. On that note, uh, they are taking it as a lighter version of Windows 10 but the installation time was extremely extremely long. I have installed uh, Chrome OS on under, circun uh, under similar circumstances using the VMware application or VirtualBox takes very very little time to do so and I don't know how much light Microsoft can make this operating system with the uh, NT kernel as its base. So again, uh, we'll take a look once this setting up of Windows OS is done and we are on the desktop. All right, so it looks like we are on the desktop and uh, looks very, very, very familiar, very similar to what we have been, uh, what we have been used to on the normal Windows 10 Pro builds and other insider builds. So it is very similar. There's nothing uh, different about it from the looks of it. Of course, this will all change. Maybe this is just an internal build uh, and that kind of stuff. So let's just go into the settings and see what we are actually running. So the settings look a bit different. We have a gaming option right now, which wasn't there before and for these this kind of setup we actually had to go into the xbox application but right now it is in the settings so that is something different and uh let's go to system and let, let's see a bit more details so according to this we are running a windows 10 pro insider so it doesn't say a cloud uh, here but it is actually windows 10 cloud as you can see i installed that but it just says Windows 10 Pro Insider because this is not a finalized build. This is a leaked build. Uh, it says OS version is 16.1607, but the build number is actually 15025.1000. And that is a newer build than what we are used to again. So rest of the thing is pretty familiar. There are a few changes in the user interface that I can spot instantly, one being the Cortana bar being a bit more lighter. Apart from that, uh, I cannot see much of a change. Um, yeah, we have game mode here on this particular build. So, uh, of course, I won't be testing too many games on this. Uh, again, it the game mode uh, the build that had the game mode is infamous for not actually running games for other reasons and i guess this is pretty much about it uh, i cannot see much of a difference right now in terms of user interface at least or resource requirements and as you can see almost 50 percent or a one gig of ram is used so um that is nominal if you're running on a two gig system this is what you would get uh, apart from that it's not really light uh, i don't know i really don't know what difference there is but of course once this actually comes out uh, in a proper manner we'll be able to tell more does it actually perform well 
on lower end hardware or not and stuff like that so this was the leaked build of windows 10 cloud thank you so much for watching if you liked the video liked it if you dislike the video dislike it and the download links will be in the description go check them out and a big shout out to the guy who uh, provided us with the iso thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one